What is up, Carol here with Team Isle. Today we are looking into the best image optimization plugins for WordPress. What I'm gonna do is compare five very popular plugins, optimize some example images with them and see the results. So this is as hands-on as possible. At the end of this video, you will know exactly which of those plugins does best at image compression, optimization, and so on. So I've tested five plugins. We have Optimal, Short Pixel, Imagify, Smash, and we have EWWW. So I picked those plugins because they are some of the most popular image optimization plugins out there. One of them is our own plugin and it's been rising through the ranks, getting more appreciation each month, it seems. So we are very happy about that. And I wanted to show you, compare all those plugins head to head and see which one actually comes out on top. So first things first, let's actually look at the results. So what I did is I tested two images, one of them a JPEG image and another one a PNG. And I picked those two because they represent a common type of image that someone would have on their website. So JPEGs are used for all sorts of things, you know, like photos, various images with lots of different colors, lots of different shadings and so on. And PNGs are commonly used for interface elements, for images that don't have a lot of color information in them, usually images generated by so interface and as an example I just took a screenshot of one of our solutions and used that so yeah the JPEG was actually pretty large it was more than 1200 kilobytes and all of the plugins optimized it quite well as you can see here the top result is short pixel it removed more than 82% of the disk size of this image and of course the image itself stayed roughly the same which the changes are really not easy to notice but the disk size has reduced a lot second place goes to optimal with more than 76% in disk space reduction. Then we have the other plugins like Imagify, Smash and EWWW at the end. With the PNG image the story is kind of similar but this time we have optimal at number one reducing the size by nearly 83% then short pixel at 78 followed by the other three. This time with the PNG all three plugins actually did an awesome job. So yeah the results are the results. Take it or leave it you can pick your plugin based on that but if you're interested in some more details then i have those as well so let's start with optimal so optimal first of all it is set on ease of use what i mean by this is that it installs in a single step and it sets the user up with the optimal configuration right out the gate or at least the most common configuration that most users will benefit from it enables image compression storing your media in the cloud you know to offload your server and and make it easier for it to operate. Enables lazy loading and much more. There are also some clever features like an integrated CDN which is great you know for making sure that your website loads quickly from all global locations. Watermarking in case you want to you know protect your images a bit so that other people don't steal them and show them on their websites. You can set up exclusions per page meaning you can set the plugin to not work on some specific pages or posts on your site plus there's even something called smart cropping which will crop your image on specific devices to show only the most important part of the image so overall a very nice concise package for most users who just want to have you know their site working faster their images optimized for their server and their network conditions so yeah next up we have short pixel and short pixel shows you a bit more of options in the panel i mean and delivers more visible features overall. The panel just seems more packed with features. And you can also see individual savings that you're getting per each image. You can even compare two images side by side, you know, an image before the optimization and after the optimization. Plus there are additional features like image conversions and the plugin can even optimize custom locations, custom media that's outside of your media library. Just like Optimal, this is another plugin that you have to sign up to through a third party website website to enable it on your site, meaning you need an API key, which, you know, some users don't like, others don't mind, so it's up to you, but that's just how it works. Next up, we have Imagify. Imagify has just one simple settings panel, and I quite enjoy that about it. You know, there's really no word to get lost. There's just one page, you set what you need on this page, and you're basically good to go. It has all the core stuff there, but there are visibly less features available as a result of 
overall. There is no built-in CDN, for example. But apart from that, you know, when it comes to compression, image compression, you should be happy as well using this plugin. There are even settings for saving the original versions of your images on the server so that you can come back, you know, to them if you need to at any point in time, which is very useful for, for most users. Next up, we have Smash. So Smash is actually the most popular image optimization plugin in the directory, I think, at least right now. It has more than 1 million active installs and it really is the total package of image optimization that you might need on your site. It also has settings for saving originals, original versions of your images so that they don't get lost. You can also optimize images outside of your media library with it. Plus it has some quite original features like saving your config for reuse later on. For example, if you want to roll out the plugin on another one of your sites, then you can basically use the same settings if you want to. In the end, the plugin really has a good balance between ease of use and the settings and configuration available. Though to my taste, there's a bit too much push to get you to buy the pro license. So basically a lot of features that you are gonna see in the panel are grayed out. You know, you can't use them, but you can see clearly that they are available in the pro. For instance, CDN only available in the pro version, next gen formats as well, only in the pro plus a couple of other useful features. And last up, we have EWWW. This is another one of the most popular such plugins in the repo. It also has more than 1 million active installs. And the cool thing about this one, at least for me, the main cool thing is that it is a standalone plugin, which means if you don't want to, you don't need to integrate it with a third party solution. You don't need to sign up anywhere. You can just install the plugin, configure it and start using it. It also has quite good onboarding when it comes to letting you pick what is important to you from your image optimization plugin. You can optimize for speed, for storage and pick from the basic features that you want enabled. It also supports next gen formats in the normal version, which is great. And overall, there are tons of features in the settings panel with this plugin. It has an easy mode in the settings and a ludicrous mode, I think that's what it's called. And if you reveal it, you're going to see tons of panels with very many individual interesting features. And at the same time, it's not really that intimidating because once you get through the onboarding, your plugin is going to be set basically to operate from the get go. So if you don't want to, you don't need to get into the settings at any time. But if you do want to, there's the option, which is great. Yeah, if you want CDN, then that's a pro feature along with a couple of other ones. Yeah, so that is it. Those are the plugins. You can choose based on that, you know, based on the features that you require on your WordPress website or based on the pure image compression abilities of those plugins. Here is that compression table once again. And of course, each of those plugins has a free version and a pro version. And depending on the plugin, there are some limitations when it comes to how many images you can optimize optimize, compress, or how many visitors you can welcome on your site. For example, Optimal allows you to welcome up to 2000 visitors each month and each of them is going to see your optimized images. Some other plugins allow you to only optimize 5 megabytes of images or 20 megabytes of images, which can be not a lot, honestly. Or EWWW being a standalone plugin, it can optimize unlimited numbers of images. So as you can see, there are solutions everywhere. Either way, let me know what you think, let me know which of those plugins seem best for your use case. Don't forget to like, subscribe, there's a lot more content coming up and see you next time.